obviously you're a, you're a gymnastic teacher now, mm -hmm. but do you, how much do you try and give the girls that you teach? Because you, you, you teach young, young, young women now, right? Yeah, definitely. How much um, do you try and give them that, that instill in them that confidence that maybe you didn't have at that absolutely. age? Absolutely. Um, it's one of the biggest things I do when I coach. And to be frank with you, Nate, um, I actually started my own program that's called Girl Powered. And um, it is meant to be specific specifically for girls who identify as black who are black or mm -hmm. who are black um because it's different being black i can i can just put it out there it's different yeah. being black it's different being black and being an athlete it's different being black and being anything and i can attest to being a black athlete you know on the canadian national gymnastics team at the time that i was there you know, it was challenging and it was difficult. You know, I have naturally big, curly, frizzy hair. Like I've got big hair and that's naturally me. And I always had to try to fit in this box, this Caucasian box of mm. straight hair, bun, ponytail. And I'm not saying that I cannot do that. I just didn't know it was an option for me to do that with my big curly mm. hair because I didn't want to. I didn't want to disrupt anything because yeah. I just wanted to keep my mouth quiet and just stay there. You know, I had a very different body type. I have big breasts and, you know, I ha I'm tall. I was always at the end of the line because I was the tallest gymnast there and these long slender legs. And, you know, I have people questioning like, you know, how do you do gymnastics? And they don't want to say it even though they're looking at my chest. Like, how do you do, how do you do gymnastics? You know, which quite frankly is sexual abuse staring at my breasts like this <laughs> but not yeah. seeing it um like how do you flip like that and if you do flip and you fall on your you know and you fall they don't want to say fall on your chest like does that hurt how do you do those but things these are women saying these things to you women and men okay as well because i mean frankly they probably also just wanted to know like most gymnasts don't have breasts yeah you are developed you have breasts you've clearly gone through puberty and nobody else has not <laughs> yeah you know so it is. It's it's a big it's a big difference. And, you know, my whole life, you know, I just didn't really embrace that. I didn't mm. stand up for it. I didn't know what to do because I just didn't really have that voice. So but, I mean, you're still young at that age. I mean, you're 16, 17 years old. Like you're I still am. trying to figure so much out. So much out. And I think that's why I'm so strong on this Girl Power program, because these young, beautiful black girls, like they're special. They're so special. And black girls are built differently. Black girls, you know, are a little bit thicker. You know, they've got thick thighs or big bums and tend to go through puberty a little bit sooner. And our hair is never straight. It's never going to be straight. Like, it's meant to be big and curly and frizzy. And if you have dreadlocks, that's gorgeous. And you need to love that. Mm -hmm. And you can do gymnastics like this. You can dance like this. Um, and there's not many, and this, again, is just my perspective, there's not many black coaches out there that can understand that mm -hmm. um that can understand how to how to mold that not to look at your body and be like too chubby too big mm -hmm. too too tall no hair hair not good like and i'm saying it like this because it has happened before mm -hmm. my sister has tried out to be in a you know a certain level in gymnastics and she was a chubbier young girl yeah. and simply because of her body they said not even a chance and mm -hmm. To us, like that's so it baffles me so much because you can have someone that works so hard every single day and surpass someone like me who had the natural talent, who doesn't try as hard as that person that's going to yeah. work so hard. Because if you have a goal in your mind and you love something and you work every single day, your weight's going to go down. And if you have a coach that understands your body, there's yeah. a different technique and how to train someone to do it that mm -hmm. way. And mm -hmm. a lot of coaches especially ones that are so one dimensional. This is how you do it. This is how you train it. This is the technique for it. And this is the only way that I know how to yeah. coach it. Um, w when you have somebody that has a different body size or a body style, like yeah. there's a different way to train that person. And are you willing to open your mind to make it easier for them? Even though it's more challenging for you to teach, can we make them feel comfortable and beautiful at the same time and not mm. judge them because they have big breasts mm. because they've got a little bit of a belly sticking out. Like mm -hmm. this is life. Yeah. There are so many different shapes and sizes in this world. And at what point are we going to fully embrace that and say, that's cool. I can work with that. Mm. I haven't found many people like that. So my sister and I 
have this huge vision of just bringing up this team of like young, beautiful black girls. And, you know, even if it's not to the Olympics, because I know nowadays people are listening to this, like, what is she talking about? Simone Biles, Gabby Douglas, like she's ridiculous. Get the F out of (laughs) here. You know, I'm talking about my perspective here and what I've seen here, you know, in Toronto, in Canada. I haven't seen a program for young black girls where they can, love themselves you know yeah. biracial girls you know with caucasian mothers that don't know how to do their hair so every time their beautiful curly hair grows mommy shaves their head bald like how, how is that girl gonna grow up where's her identity where's mm-hmm. her self-love when every time she sees a curl you know it's either shaved off or is gone to get it pin straightened because yeah. mommy doesn't really know how to do her hair properly like this is bigger than just Gymnastics. Than gymnastics and I think that that was something that I needed when I was doing gymnastics that it's bigger than just gymnastics like I'm I'm setting a trend you know I'm out there I'm on a podium like I can be making a change or making a difference for people and if I had that confidence and understood that this is bigger than me just being a vessel mm-hmm. I really feel like I could have made a much bigger impact 